Hi, and welcome to the premiere episode of Ken's Kitchen with nothing better to do during this lockdown. Let's learn how to cook some delicious food. Today's episode will focus on the preparation of quail, a very Italian, virtually fat-free and delicious meal in 45 minutes. So grab your aprons, tighten your strings, let's get going. Since quail is a bird, the first step is to do a rinse out of the packaging and get it air drying on some paper towels. So I just open the package in a sink, in the sink, excuse me, rinsing these off. They are all butterflied already, so very easy to prepare, very easy to eat. So I'm laying them down on a cutting board with what is nowadays about $500 worth of paper towels, given the frenzy for paper goods. Nothing, nothing involved, just a quick rinse and pat to dry. I'll let those sit there while I grab my seasonings, rinse out the packaging, and wash my hands. Quite possibly the best tip I ever picked up from television cooking shows was to line your roasting pan with foil. Makes cleanup a snap, virtually eliminates cleanup. You can take the foil out. Uh, rinse it off so your garbage doesn't get all smelly and oily, toss it, wipe the dish out, no dishes necessary. All right, the collection of seasonings my wife and I like to refer to as the usual suspects. Really, really good for poultry, but good in a lot of uh, different cooking scenarios. Pepper, of course, kosher salt, onion powder, garlic powder, Cayenne, that's more for me. It's very, very sparing if you like a little bit of heat. And paprika, good for pork chops, lamb, quail, anything with a slightly gamey uh, hint to it. And some butter separated out from your regular, wherever you regularly keep your butter because you're going to put your hands in it and then hands all over the quail. So we simply start our seasoning. And we're going to start by a little handful of butter and just sort of coat the quail. Oops, a spare piece of meat. Maybe I'll throw that in the pan. Uh, just quote your qu coat your quail, excuse me, uh, with the butter and lay it in the pan. Again, another piece of meat came off. Okay, why coat the quail with butter? If you do enough cooking or enough roasting, particularly poultry, uh, if you don't provide some fat on the exterior of uh, chicken, turkey, quail, whatever you're doing, uh, you're not going to get that wonderful crispy skin, that very typical crispy turkey skin that you see in all the holiday commercials and such. That's true for all poultry roasting. If you don't have fat on the exterior, it's going to be insipid. It's just not going to have very exciting flavor at all. In fact, if you don't, it's gonna taste just like chicken. Unless, of course, you're co cooking chicken, then it'll taste just like chicken anyway. <laughs> See, cooking stupid jokes, still part of the Tory repertoire. All right, that's in the pan. I will show that to you in a minute. Quick break to wash my hands. All right, time to season up the quail with the one-handed technique. One hand for the seasoning, one hand to touch the birds. Right hand for seasoning, left hand to touch the birds. So, a little bit of olive oil for the extra fat like we discussed, just a drizzle. And onward, salt. Don't ask me how much, just enough. Not too much, not too little, like a bond chick and three bears. All right, pepper. I switched from the pepper mill to the red and white can because I need to do it just one-handed. Onion powder. Just kind of do it high so it'll drape the food without clumping garlic. Garlic powder, excuse me. Just, just a little shake until you see it of cayenne, and that's it. Any more, you'll be hating life. Paprika, I would call this one optional. 
Like I said, I do like it in heavier meats, particularly those with a gamey hint. All right, that was the underside. Let's flip it over to the skin side up. Flip it over. You don't like one side tasting food. That's no fun. All right, those look good. Straighten up the foil and repeat. A little olive oil for the upside fat. Again, salt. Pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Just a little bit of cayenne until you can see it falling. That's why I'm shaking it from high above. And the optional paprika, which is how Gordon Ramsay pronounces it. It's paprika. I don't know why he calls it paprika. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, um, I'm going to get back and set the oven to 375. As soon as the oven reaches baking temperature of 375, that'll be about 15 minutes. The baking dish, I know I called it roasting, it's baking dish, the Pyrex dish, uh, goes in center rack, 45 minutes, set your timer. Don't even have to think about it, don't have to turn it. That's why we seasoned and put oil and butter on both sides. So the upside will cook and the bottom side will kind of, you know, fry, not, not exactly. So both sides will cook, 45 minutes, don't even have to think about it. All right, it's been exactly 45 minutes. Let's take our birds out and see how they look. Hot pads, of course. Never use a dish towel or things that you see people do to take hot stuff out of the oven. Bad idea. Well, that looks yummy. All right. Um, I'm going to let this cool significantly before enjoying it for my lunch. Uh, let's see if we can show it a little bit like this. Yeah, it's still sizzling, so we're going to have to let this denucify before I can eat it. But you can see the wonderful browning that you get, a lot like a Thanksgiving turkey. And then you can also see the amount of oil, I think. You can see that. Maybe not. Uh, there is a lot of oil. Very, very little came from the quail. Um, it's all from the butter and the olive oil, so it will all run off. You won't be consuming that. All right, so uh, you always let meat rest. Uh, sometimes you tent it, sometimes you don't. No matter if you cook it on the stove or in the oven, I always tent uh, poultry and steak. Uh, this, however, is way too hot, so I'm going to let it, like I said, denucify. I'm going to enjoy a fabulous lunch, wishing you bon appetit also. And uh, we'll do this again. I wish the cooking uh, videos were my idea, but my lovely wife had started it for her students. And after uh, it was mentioned to be by mine, maybe we will do this as a cure for boredom. Until next time.